Jason Passad and I'm a research scientist here at the Horticulture Department at NARI. And today I'd like to talk to you about container gardening. Um, well, now whether you live in a, a small apartment or your home has very limited yard space, container gardening can be right for you. It allows you the versatility of growing fruits and vegetables and herbs um, in a small space, um, utilizing containers that were previously used for something else. Now, I'll take you through the do's and don'ts of container gardening. What exactly is container gardening? Container gardening is utilizing um, any container, pots or vessels that are able to hold soil for the growing of vegetables, herbs and fruits. Um, some of the containers that are commonly used for container gardening are um, old, plastic, um, or, uh, old plastic bottles, um, you have uh, jars, old buckets, um, drums, crates, uh, grow bags. These are all commonly used uh, containers that can be utilized for container gardening. When it comes to container gardening, one of the very important things or one of the most important things that we should consider is our potting mix. Uh, when it comes to the potting mix, we want to use a high quality compost or a very high um, nutrient garden soil. Now our garden soil can always be improved by adding other um, amendments to the soil such as cocoa peat, uh, pen manure, compost, um, chicken litter, any of any sort of burnt paddy shell, any sort of amendments that will make the soil more nutritious and more friable or more loose. The goal of an ideal potting mix is to have it um, easily drained um, because plants do not like to be sitting in water for too long. So the soil should be easily drained and it should be um, high in nutrients to be able to take the plants throughout its life cycle into production. Okay, so now that we've selected our container and we've prepared our adequate potting mixture for each container, we need to consider what type of plants will be suitable for each container that we have selected. So for a plant, uh, for example, um, bigger plants like broccoli, um, tomatoes and peppers, they will require a container that has about 12 to 18 inches depth. That's enough for to, to support a bigger plant. While a smaller plant like lettuce or celery would require a container about six to eight inches in depth. This will be sufficient enough to support that plant. Now that we've, we've utilized um, old tires, we, I, we have enough space here that we can do intercropping, um, where we put multiple crops to utilize the space that we have. Now since tomato is the main uh, crop and it's the large of, of the crops that we have here, we, it's easy for us to intercrop something like lettuce or celery in the tire because we have enough space for that. So this makes um, container gardening not only easy but also versatile and very productive. Okay, so we have set up our container gardening now. Our plants are growing and it's looking all healthy and nice. Um, some of the things that we need to consider to maintain a healthy garden and to have the most productive plants is general care and maintenance of our plants. So one of the main things that we need to remember is that plants require water. Yes, yeah, so we should water plants um, in the morning before the sun, um, just before the sun gets, comes up so that we can prevent uh, evaporation, um, evaporating from the soil too quickly. Um, another thing that we should consider is uh, fertilizing our plants um, whenever they need or, or um, occasionally, at least every once a month. Um, this is to sustain growth because our plants are restricted to a, a container, which means that it doesn't have access to the garden soil to pull nutrients from there. So it is our responsibility to ensure that the plants have sufficient food to carry it through its life cycle. Um, one of the other things that we need to look at is the removal of weeds. Now, weeds are uh, plants that, are, that will invade our garden and they will compete with our, our, our um, crops for water and nutrients. So it's ideal that when we see them popping up, we just remove them and um, so that will prevent uh, competition for our plants and ensure that there are no alternate hosts for pests and diseases here. Okay, now whether we're choosing to grow um, uh, fruits and vegetables and herbs for recreational purposes or for the production of food. Container gardening is an excellent opportunity for us to produce for, uh, on a subsistence level for our home. Container gardening also offers us the ability to incorporate agriculture into the lives of our kids because it's easy and it's very uh, manageable and we can have the kids get involved in it 
and show them how important it is for growing plants and producing food for their own homes. Container gardening also uh, uh, um, ensures that we have the flexibility and it's very, um, it's very forgiving in terms of not requiring a lot of time. Uh, so we can care for our plants because they're very close to us and it's on a smaller scale. It also most importantly helps us to save money because we're producing our own food and we're producing healthy, wholesome food for our family and for ourselves. Thank you.